thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. What is going on, guys? It is Zerxum today with another YouTube video. Today, we have the limited edition Thursday night football cards. And today, surprisingly, we actually have Rob Gronkowski and Michael Bennett, which I did not see coming. But people are kind of upset about this because, you know, Rob Gronkowski already has a 90. And we just got a Twitch Legend Prime Edition of a defensive end, Richard Dent. So Michael Bennett, not really the best choice. And Rob Gronkowski, just a slight upgrade over his basically. But 80 speed, 87 strength, so he's very, very strong. 83 run block, very good run block as well. 88 catch, 89 release, 88 round running, 93 catch and traffic. So that's absolutely insane catch and traffic. And 89 spectacular catch. Now take a look at acceleration, 84. So he is faster than Jimmy Graham. He's one inch shorter, but of course, 6 is still absolutely insane. 80 carrying, come down to the run block, 80 freaking three run block that is absolutely insane 88 trucking this man is going to run over linebackers 90 stiff arm with the 80 juke move and a 76 spin move also a 71 impact block so definitely he can hold some blocks keep going down here see his stamina injury of a 74 he kind of expected that but a stamina of an 88 which is actually pretty good and he can stay on the field for longer and overall, this card may be one of the best wide receivers just in the game in general. But he's also an amazing run block of that he's run block and very good impact block. And if you want to compare him to, I guess, more of a receiver, well, I guess Jimmy Graham actually is my best receiving tight end. But if you compare him to a regular wide receiver, his stats really do compare. 88 catch, 89 spec, 93 catch traffic, 88 route running. He's just a really, really big run blocking wide receiver. Now, there are 15 Team Fantasy Bundles in the game, and of course, these Team Fantasy Bundles are actually juiced, in my opinion. And of course, with the new addition of these limited time cards, I'm going to open up a couple of these. And of course, you're going to want to go with the Patriots, because you can pull Gronkowski to this. And you want to do this because of the fact that you not only can you get the Patriots, you know, Rob Gronkowski, but the Patriots Gold are actually pretty expensive, too, for their team leaders. So let's get into this, see what we're going to get. It costs 20,000 coins. We're going to open up three of these. If we don't... Paul Gronkowski, okay, so we get Deatric Wise, and we get Rex Burkhead, can we get an Elite? Show me an Elite Flash, okay, so we get 81 overall, Willie McGinnis, I was kind of excited there, I thought for sure we were going to get that Rob Gronkowski, but I'm not too mad at that, he's probably not going for 20,000 coins, but he's not going to be going for absolute trash, now I didn't get my weekend league rewards just yet, and Michael Bennett isn't up on the auction block just yet, but we're going to see about that, and also... If you guys haven't seen the new predictors for this week, I'll show you guys those rewards in a second. They're absolutely insane for this weekend. But let's get into this, see if we can get an elite. Okay, Calvin Noy. Show me an elite flash. And we get Rob Ninkovich. So we got absolute trash in that one. Last team fantasy pack. See if we can get something good out of these. I actually really do like these packs. But sometimes they're not the best. Honestly, I feel like this week is definitely the week to do it. If you're going to want to try to pull this Grunk, who's probably going to go for about 600k after his price does settle. Okay, Lawrence Guy. Give me an Elite. Deion Lewis and Chris Hogan. Now, I'm not too sure why it's set up like this. But if you guys know, please tell me. I'm not too sure why exactly. But take a look and check this out. So, the Soul Challenge menu has actually changed up a little bit. Now, usually this means they're going to add something, but taking a look at all these, it doesn't look like they added any new solos, because originally the kickoff was actually the first thing in here, but now it's the chemistry, then the team leaders, the chronicles, predictor, and then all this brand bullcrap, but it doesn't look like they added anything, and of course the men rewards, this is for September, I believe, so I did not even play any solo challenges, because they're not because I already have a ton of contracts, but... I don't think they added in any new solos or sets, so I'm not sure why it's set up like this. But if you take a look at the past five weeks, or the last four weeks, for the predictors, you'll see it's the same thing. 24 wins gives you 50,000 coins, and then 89 overall for the most. But take a look at this. Now, you get 50,000 coins for 24, 150,000 coins for 27, and a million coins if you get 30 to correct so i'm gonna go through here and give you guys my picks for this jets at the browns the browns will win against the jets by at least three points mm, honestly i'm gonna go with no i think that the jets will probably end up winning the game duke johnson has seven catches probably not lions win by at least three points versus the panthers they did just beat the patriots 
So this game might be a little bit different in the pay. <sighs> will the Panthers win this game? I don't think they will. I think the, the Lions will definitely win this game. So I'm going to go with yes for that one. Panthers at the line. Stafford has 250 passing yards. Absolutely. Colts win by at least three points versus the 49ers now. I'm not too sure if the Colts are actually going to be starting Andrew Luck this week. I know he was at practice and he was throwing the ball, but I think I would hold off on this one. And if Andrew Luck is playing, say yes. And honestly, it might just be yes in general because Jacoby Brissett has been playing pretty dang good. Carlos Hyde is 100 total rushing and receiving yards. I'm going to go with yes for that one as well. Dolphins win versus the Titans. I'm going to go with no, even though the Titans defense played absolutely god awful versus the Texans. I'm going to go with no. JJ is one touchdown. I'm going to go with yes. Bengals win by at least three points versus the mm, versus the Bills. I don't know about that one because the Bills have been playing pretty damn good. I'm actually going to go with... Well, Andy Dalton finally had a solid game, but honestly, I'm going to go with no with this one. I think the Bills would beat the Bengals. Geno Atkin is one sack. Who's their center? I'm, I'm going to go with no for that one, actually. Giants win by at least four points versus the Chargers. I'm going to go with yes. I think that the Giants will finally get a freaking win. Jason Pierre-Paul has one sack. I'm going to go with no. Steelers win by at least nine points versus the Jaguars. I'm going to go with no once again. I think this game will probably be a touchdown game or a field goal game. The Jaguars are actually playing pretty damn solid. Le'Veon Bell has 100 total rushing and receiving yards. Definitely. Eagles win by at least seven points versus the Cardinals. Uh, mm, that's another tough one because honestly, the Cardinals have been playing pretty solid even without David Johnson, even though they haven't been bracking up the wins. And they did just win overtime last week. Uh, let's go with yes. Let's go with Eagles do one by seven points. Carson Wentz has 300 passing yards. Let's go with the, uh, first the Cardinals secondary. I don't, I'm not really too sure about that one, honestly. I'm going to go with no for that one. I think it throws probably like 250. Rams win by at least three points versus the mm, boys of the Seahawks. I don't know about that one. Um, I'm going to go with no for that one. Ty Gurley has 125 total rushing and receiving yards. Uh, once again, Seahawks defense, that's pretty damn tough. But honestly, they've been force feeding Todd Gurley the ball. So I'm going to go with yes for that one. Seahawks defense has two interceptions. No. Jared Goff has been playing very, very good. Raiders will win against the Ravens without Derek Carr. I'm going to go with no, honestly. Jared Cook has five receptions. No again. Alex Collins has 75 rushing yards now. Alex Collins for the Ravens. I don't even know about how many rushing yards he had the last week or the last couple weeks. So I'm going to go with... I have no idea. I'm just going to have to look at the stats to see about that one. Cowboys win by at least three. Mm, win by at least two points versus the Packers, though. That's going to be a very tough game for us. And honestly, I'm not really too sure about this game. I'm going to go with yes because we're going to win by 10 points. Dak Prescott has 22 completions. I'm going to say no. I think that we're going to run the ball a lot more than that game. Aaron Rodgers is going to be passing yards. Absolutely. Probably going to throw for five when you're passing yards. Chiefs win by at least two points versus the Texans. I'm going to go with yes. Deshaun Watson, 275 passing and rushing yards. Yes. Kareem Hunt, 125 total yards. Absolutely. Chris Jones has a sack. No. Vikings will beat the Bears. Yes. Mitchell Trubisky has one touchdown. Uh, he better have a touchdown. And Minnesota defense has two interceptions versus Mitch Trubisky. Honestly, I'm not really too sure. I'm going to take a risk here, though, and I'm going to say no. I think maybe Mitch Trubisky might throw one interception. I really don't think that he'll end up throwing two, even if he does. But here is the Michael Bennett. He's going for about 800K. His other card is up for 800K. But 74 speed, 89 strength, 84 acceleration. So compared to Reggie White, he's like a couple less when it comes to strength, excel, and speed. 90 tackle, 93 block shit, and a 92 pound move. That's actually really, really good because of the elite tier threshold. I know I say it in literally every single video, but the elite tier threshold is actually 91 this year. So he gets the elite block shit in the elite power move. And he also has 88 play rick, and he also has a catching of a 62, so that's pretty solid for screens. Tackle of a 90, jumping of a 64, which really doesn't matter. He's 6 of a 4. Okay, let's see what else he has. Impact block of a 90, so that's a, that kind of affects his ability to pull away if you put him in a QB contain or something. And then he also has a play rate of an 88, zone coverage of a 60, which is pretty solid, and a stamina of an 85. Hit power of an 83 as well, so when he comes to hit the quarterback, he's going to get pretty decent animations with jump to snap chemistry as well. But those are the two limited time cards. 
Rob Gronkowski and Michael Bennett and then those are my predictors for this weekend hopefully you guys can do really good on those and pull yourself you know maybe a Gronk or a Michael Bennett because honestly this Michael Bennett and Gronk I think that Michael Bennett will probably end up around 400k but Gronk is definitely going to be super expensive if you take a look at his base lead right now it's still probably about 300 maybe 400k or maybe even higher than honestly take a look to see how much it's going for and it's going for about i'm going to take a guess and say 400k and it is going for about 400k so 465k so this card will probably be about 700 to 800 thousand coins so definitely the card that you want to try to pull if you're going to do the legends or just the fantasy packs in general but if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment I'll see you guys next time.